Hello and welcome to Someca Six Sigma Calculator Google Sheets template. To use the template, make sure you are online and sign in with your Google account. Then you have to make a copy of this file. Just go to File and click on Make a Copy. This tool helps you to measure the level of quality of a process. This tool has two different ways to calculate your data. The Simple Calculator and the Advanced Calculator. Advanced Calculator has two sections for measured data, XMR charts and XBAR R chart, and another two section for counted data, P chart and U chart. And there's the reference table for Six Sigma levels. This is where you see the data used on Six Sigma calculations. We don't recommend making any changes here, but if you use a different set of ranking, you can insert it here. So let's start with the simple calculator. First, choose your data type from the drop-down list. Then, enter the total number of units tested, number of defects, and opportunities per unit. Then your results will be calculated automatically. Let's choose the continuous data type. Enter the average data, indicate standard deviation, and enter the upper and lower limit. And again, the results will be calculated here. Let's continue with the advanced charts. You can use two different data types for calculation, measured data and counted data. Let's start with XMR charts for measured data. Enter your target value, unit type, and indicate your lower and upper limit. And lastly, you can enter measurement for each sample. After you enter all your data, the chart will update itself. So let's give an example. If there are any data points that are not within the specified limits, they will be indicated in red. Like this. You can see the X chart here. The blue line represents the measurement of each sample and you can see the exact value once you put the arrow on the dots. Like this. And the yellow line represents the mean value and the red ones are the limits. And the MR chart represents the value difference between the samples. You can also check the statistics table and the data distribution diagram located on the top right corner. If you choose to measure a sample multiple times, you may use X bar R chart. Like the previous section, enter your target value first, write down the unit type, and write down your lower and upper limits. Then enter your measurement for each sample, and the X bar and R chart will be formed accordingly. So let's give an example. X bar represents the average value of a sample and the R chart represents the difference between the highest and lowest values of a specific sample. As you see, the X bar chart and R chart update itself accordingly. If you have countable data, you may use the P chart and the U chart section. Let's start with P chart first. In this section, you can inspect the defective units in a lot. Enter the total number of units produced. Then enter the number of defective units for each day or each lot. And the defective rate will be calculated automatically and p-chart will be formed accordingly. Let's give an example. And the p-chart updates itself with the new data. And lastly, we can use the u-chart. This is similar to p-chart. The difference is you can indicate the total defects instead of defective units. So let's enter the total units for sample 16 and enter the total defects. As you see, the U chart formed accordingly. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check our other templates at someca.net.